you know, last time everyone was like, you guys missed the opportunity to say machine gun smelly. Yeah, and I was, and I was like, like, shut up. Well, you try. You, you guys. try being yeah, on the spot. Yeah, you guys. And coming up with doo-doo puns. You guys so. try and look at this guy and think clearly. Are you kidding me? Hey, guys. What's up? Welcome back. Today, we have a very exciting video because we are going to be watching a movie. We're going to be doing a movie commentary. But today, we have a very special guest. Today's guest is is Jacob Sharp. <gasps> Woo! Where is he? Come out on the stage, Jacob. Oh, it's me, Jacob Andrew Sharp. Welcome back to Trin Lavelle's channel, everybody. It's the best movie channel on planet Earth, and if you disagree, get out of here. We're here to have fun, and we're here to make fun of our favorite movie, hip hop, rock and roll guy, MGK. M G K M G K M G K M G K M G K M G K M Yeah Yeah If you watched our last video you know that we can't get enough of this guy This cast is stellar what's let's take a look at this jacob we've got of course machine gun kelly yeah his character's name is london london <laughs> no <laughs> no it's not why is it london no last name just london oh is this like a uh is the movie uh like a zach and cody kind of like kind of like dark edgy movie and he plays like London Tipton is that kind of what we're looking at you might be surprised because the next character's name played by Mod son is Dylan <gasps> okay so this is yep yeah, we're moving into sweet life territory for sure that's Dylan Dylan Sprouse 100 percent Dylan and then Cole okay played by Oh, Cole, Cole, no, Cole, Colson. Colson. Oh my God. I am such a fake fan. <laughs> oh my God. He's already forgotten his name. You caught me. The next character, we have Megan Fox playing Kennedy. Fuck off. Is she actually in the movie? No, she's literally like, <laughs> she's the third person in the cast. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> we have Dove Cameron as Olive. Do you know who Dove Cameron is? I might. She was in Live and Maddie on Disney Channel, and she was also in the Descendants movies on Disney Channel. I do know who Dove Cameron is. Avril Lavigne playing Avril Lavigne. No way. Why? Why? Okay. I, I don't think it's fully necessary to have like already Machine Gun Kelly, which is just Avril Lavigne, but like, you know, uh, but somehow worse. We have Becky G who plays Apple. Well, uh, who's Becky? Okay. Becky G sounds like the character's name. Who's Becky G? <laughs> the famous singer who made the song dancing in the mirror oh, singing yep. in the shower okay great la -da -dee, la -da -da, la -da -da. <laughs> Trin, don't sing it too perfectly you're gonna get demonetized <laughs> they're gonna be like that's literally becky g <laughs> she plays uh a character named apple which i would assume is like a character's name in riverdale or something um gwyneth paltrow's kid what Right? Isn't that like a famous that she named her kid Apple? Who Who's she married to? She's married to the Coldplay guy, right? Is she still? I don't know. Yep. Apple Martin. There you go. We have Trippy Red as pool guest. We have Brittany Furlan as waitress. Dennis Rodman as unknown character. There's no name. And that's it. <laughs> it's, it it's like talking to a parent about pop culture that's what i feel like Like this is like what my dad is like yeah hollywood's best stars avril lavigne snoop dogg like it's just it also feels like a movie like you know when you make a movie as like a kid and you're like i want all my friends we're gonna get a camera and make a movie like that's what this feels like it's just like we don't have a script we barely have an idea but we have a camera and a too, and too much free time Did Machine Gun Kelly, like, fund this picture? Like, is he, like, a producer, director type thing? I am pretty sure that he was. <laughs> Directors are Machine Gun Kelly and Monson. And the distributors are Open Road Films. <gasps> Open Road Films did the nut job. Oh, what? Open Road Films has exactly four pictures. It's the nut job, the nut job two, <laughs> AXL, and Show Dogs. Okay. Well... Hey, well let's let's see if uh let's see if this one lives up to nut job too. Oh 
Oh my God, Pete <sighs> Davidson is in it. Shut up. I mean, that makes sense. They're buddies. Sorry, I didn't mean to tell you shut up, but you know. Tying back in a callback to our first video, the Kardashian. <laughs> right. Pipeline. This is, dude, that conspiracy runs, tr that is truer and truer every time we hang out because holy oh moly. Oh my God. I just connected another dot. What? Modson dated Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne was with Scott Disick for a second. I also am just under the impression now, and I'm like, Hollywood's the most incestuous place on planet Earth. Like, everyone fucks everybody. Like, these are all super big celebrities. We're like, oh my God, wait, wait, hold on. We're like just stunned that people in Hollywood know each other. <laughs> We're like, hold on. Did you know that the Kardashians are all sisters? Do you know the Kardashians' dad? Do you know? Have you heard? You're not gonna fucking believe this one. <laughs> That's Becky G. Okay. Today's the biggest day of your life, babe. Don't get too high. I don't know what I'm Wait, I'm gonna pause it really. Okay. <laughs> you, you have you have to have something to say about that. Well, I mean, already. I mean, I don't even know why I asked if MGK was involved with like the production of this movie. Cause I guess his whole like I like this is obviously. Him being like, I'm going to do what Childish Gambino did with Because of the Internet. I'm going to come out with a screenplay. There's going to be, like, visuals that go along with my record. Like, it, I'm the new Gambino. But then you have someone being like, today's the most important day of your life. Don't get high. Isn't this guy, like, almost 40 or some shit? He is a child. He, like, yeah. is getting married. Like, he... And he's like, don't get too high. Don't get too high. He's texting. Oh wait, why did oh, she say it like that? Is everyone gonna spell it like that? Yep. And why does she spell morning like that? That didn't sound like him. No. The time of sight is because <laughs> That's of someone what? else. What the fuck? Does he not know what morning means? <laughs> he doesn't. He had to Google. <laughs> also, that didn't even look like the actual like that looked like he like searched it on like Urban Dictionary. Like it wasn't <laughs> even it. like <laughs> he typed it in himself. Because obviously Apple must be his partner. Becky G. When you get a message from your partner in the morning and you're like, I don't have an inner monologue that's like, who's up this early? Oh, Apple texted me, my partner of so-and-so years. I've, n I only text, I've <laughs> never called anybody. I wonder what's going, like. Morning with the you, what's that word? When I wake up in the morning, I am like crusted over the eyes. <laughs> I can barely pick up my phone and I don't even look at what people have messaged me. It's right to TikTok until I fall back asleep. Your mouth is stuck together. It's like sticky. Yes, exactly. Because I've been mouth breathing all night and I'm out of saliva. Like, are you dro dry drool. Your mouth is shown. Exactly. Stuck. Your eyes are crusted together. Like Because I've also like, uh, it's all, for the past two hours, I probably haven't taken a breath. So I literally wake up and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Stranger Things Vecna. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> And all those like tentacles pop off me and I'm like, I got to go to the hospital because I think my heart stopped last night. Vecna got you and the Ve Vecna is Machine Gun Kelly. A hundred percent. Machine Gun Kelly is the real life Vecna. And if you haven't seen season four, if you haven't seen season four, get on it. It's been out for like three days. We can't, we can't restrict our references because you haven't seen the Yeah, show. I can't restrict, I can't, yeah, we're not stopping our references because you're too busy. Oh, not the beat. Oh no, <laughs> no, 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 all right, jump scare warning. That went from feet to bulge. Oh dude, that was, I, I was, I was with you. I was like, yeah, please no feet. And then we got only cum gutters, like the V right down to the penis. That was bad. So far. It is him just being like, you guys are going to see, you're going to listen to my music and see my dick. Like, listen to my voice and look at me now. Look at me now. Look at my nude body. Oh, God. Is that what I think it is? Man, oh, my God. God. No ass. <laughs> I need to do some squats. Whoa. Cold showers do make your dick small. Pause. <laughs> okay. Okay. A couple things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thoroughly dislike when movies, TV, 
rely on like the most blatant exposition for the movie. Yeah. Just being like, when you're hit in the face with the plot in the movie, instead of like, you know, artistically giving the audience like a chance to learn about the characters and doing it through like good, good dialogue and things like that. This is the worst version of that I've ever seen because never in my life have I gotten like this poor dialogue with MGK's bare ass and hearing him say, oh, I got to do squats. I hated that. But it's like, it's like cute when like a young teenage girl is like, hi, I'm Kaylee and I just yes. moved from Ohio. But this is like my dick hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like that's the thing when it's on something that like when it's about something like a little more like innocent and lovable that's where i'm like yes i'm in but when yeah when it's a guy who's just like you guys want to see my cock that's when i don't like it oh oh god. my god that was that might be megan fox i don't know who it was but that was just blatantly like and here's some boobs and on top of that i'm still waiting to hear from my agent about this batman role oh but I haven't heard anything yet. Man, you Pause. <laughs> Boo. 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 Get off the stage. You need to leave. Boo. You need to leave. Get the hook. Get him out of here. Like, that is bad. He's going to be the next Batman? Was that a theory? Was that a thing? No. I was no. like, were people like rooting for him to be Batman? He was rooted to be the fucking Riddler. Oh, that's so annoying. Boo. Oh. Get the fuck away from that. <gasps> Meet Kennedy. She moved in with us a couple years ago from San Francisco. She also hates boys. She can't really stand any of us, but she sticks around anyway. Pause. <laughs> okay, so we can okay. confirm that the boobs earlier were Megan Fox's boobs. She doesn't like boys, which, you know, <laughs> hey, I, as a guy... I get it. Boys? What the heck? Yeah, chicks hate guys. What the heck's that about? Give us a break. You know, you can't say anything these days. You're spraying us with pesticides. Chicks are different, I guess. Girl, women are different than men. That's what I'm getting from this. Females females be different nowadays. <laughs> you, this was conceptualized on a tour bus. Uh, oh, yeah. And you you know, they were like, they were, they were crossed and they just were like, that is funny. Because if you are sober around crossed white boys, you will see that they find the most dumb shit yep. funny. And they will sober up and think that it is the best idea ever. Yep. This is coked out white dudes being like, I can make a movie. And then they did. And unfortunately, they did. Unfortunately, they had the means to be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, they didn't have to do like any crowdfunding. They just went out and made a movie. That's that's the worst part is that they have too much freedom. Yep. Freedom rights need to be taken away from certain people. Go ahead, Trin. Go <laughs> ahead. Finish your sentence. So I'm no, with you. Them, I'm with you. Someone's going to take that out of context and like use it for their like dirty work. Like, yeah, certain people do need their freedom of speech taken away from them. Oh, 100%. Oh, and you know who's going to take it is a bunch of white guys are going to take it out of context being like <laughs> some coked out white guys. Some coked out white guys being like, "See? See? See? The Asian agrees with us." <laughs> <laughs> She's with us. She's with us. No. That's like the people who are like, who are like, see, there's this one guy who likes Trump. This one black guy likes Trump. And you're just like, still, the majority of you are, uh, uh, you know, you guys are one New Balance sneaker away from exploding into a, a vat of cell phone holders on your hip. Like, you guys are the whitest people on planet Earth. <laughs> I hope one right? of them fucking dies. <laughs> He's literally gonna die. <laughs> like, I hope so too. I hope they all fucking die. Are you kidding me? No. No. What do you guys not understand? I like girls. Yo. <laughs> what? Pause. Cut the shit. Cut it out. There is so many things wrong with that. Okay, so Megan Fox just bent over. Uh, and she gave us the old look back, only to reveal that her character is gay. 
and she only likes girls. I just think it's so funny that she has had such a res- like a resurgence of her career. Like she's been revived. Yes. She's taken over. And then immediately when she hit that peak, she was like, I'm with MGK. I know. Like it was like <laughs> she was in This Is 40. And then a few years later was like, Ah, never mind. I know. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for uh, you know recognizing all the the hardships I've gone through. Now I'm gonna go uh, marry a guy that thought it was okay to sexualize a 17 year old uh, Kendall Jenner. Oh man, I can't wait to sleep in my new house. Oh my god, he's falling in love with her. Fun. No. <gasps> Always get stuck. Weed. Can't take any dysfunction. Stupid blonde boy. Oh my god. Is she gonna give is she gonna stop being a lesbian to be with him? <laughs> I bet that's the plot point. Oh she's my gay, god. but like that's the thing. MGK is so hot. How could you be gay? How could you be a lesbian? He's totally said that to a girl before though. Like a For lesbian. Sure. He's, he's like, Are you sure you're gay? Do you wanna try it out? Yeah, he's like, Ah, oh, that's that's sick. I like pussy too. <laughs> like bad guy. And I'll make Fucking stoner. I think the last That's literally us filming this video right now. <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> that we are the two lobsters being like, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> you're a fucking loser, mate. This is the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Get out of me, tank. You're a right dookie. <laughs> right. So, so just so everyone knows, my camera ran out of battery and I had to go get a COVID test for tour. But now I'm in Tampa, Florida, and we're going to finish the movie. Maybe I don't want to be Batman. Maybe everyone else just wants you to be Batman. No one wants you to be Batman. No one <laughs> wants you to be Batman. I promise. I think you should go with, uh, you should you should pursue Apple, because we don't give a fuck if you're Batman or not. Are the people that want you to be Batman in the room right now? Yeah, exactly. I feel like... Are they with us? I feel like all the people who want you to be Batman are in this scene, and then that's it. <laughs> After that shitty ass horrible, terrible, worst thing that's ever been shown on a television finale, respectfully, we're not going to leave you now. Well, and they keep referencing the bad finale of the TV show that we haven't seen. Yeah. Like, we don't we don't know what happened at this finale, and I'm worried that we're not going to find out. I think it's just a running bit that they're going to be like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was kind of cringe. I'm about to catch this jet by now, brothers and sisters. What's up? Dennis Rodman. Yo! Yeah! Dennis, Dennis Rodman. Rodman. What the fuck, dude? Are you trying to- this is like the Mike Tyson yeah. cameo in Hangover, yep. but not at all. Except most people are like, who the fuck is Dennis Rodman? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that's in the de- age demographic that would watch this yep. is like, who's Dennis Rodman? Yeah, AKA who's me. Dennis I'm Rodman? Like, who's Dennis like, Rodman? Okay, great. If I didn't point out it was Dennis Rodman, would you have known? No, I was literally waiting. I was like, <laughs> I think that's Dennis Rodman, but I'm going to wait for him to say something. Yep. He really reminds me of a young River Phoenix. Don't say that. Don't say that Don't ever. Don't say that. Don't mention his name. <laughs> Don't ever name drop River Phoenix in Don't. this type of movie ever again. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> that's insane. That's actually criminal behavior. That was actually so fucked up to do. <laughs> Did that really just happen? Or is this some good ass reason? Pause. I, I'm sick of them uh, perpetuating the idea that like weed makes you hallucinate. Yeah. Like this is such a thing where like I don't even believe now that MGK or any of these guys have even smoked weed. <laughs> Because they're treating it like they're doing acid. Like, it's like listening to, like, a family member be like, yeah, I have, I've had a jazz cigarette or two in my lifetime. This is like an anti-drug, like, PSA. Like, you would see in, like, church where it's just, like, not at all what happens when you smoke weed. Like, it's just, like... 100%. Yeah, that's not at all. They're like, it makes you want to tear out your eyeballs. <laughs> like, MGK is going to... Here. <laughs> he is going to sit on a chair like this be like hey guys i know we uh i know we had a lot of laughs about drugs today but in all seriousness drugs are not cool the only thing that's cool is dating megan fox so next time you guys try to get you guys try to put that uh that 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 sticky icky in your brain just think about my wife's awesome body all right stay safe out there She's not answering any of my calls. I just think it's crazy that the first 
like scene of the movie she broke up with him and this whole movie has been like dang she's not like answering my calls <laughs> yeah. like like she doesn't she doesn't want any contact with me this guy doesn't understand like what it means to be ghosted <laughs> He's just like, I know she doesn't like me anymore and that she told me to leave her alone, but... I really miss her, and I want to talk to her. Why are you avoiding the fact that I saw you with another guy? You mean Luca? My stylist? Oh... The big guy? Yeah. How would he not recognize her stylist? Right? <laughs> Maybe she should break up with him. He's a bad boyfriend. He doesn't know anything about yeah, her he life. He doesn't know her own stylist. What the hell? Bingo. Okay, okay, well, what about this? I wish I didn't have to do this through text. Weird. Because I wish I could do it in person. Because I like waking up next to you. That's so dumb. Like, I, I'm, I was ready for it to be like, and it was all a bad dream. <laughs> like, that's what I was ready for. But it's even worse because it was just like, oh, he just misread the text. That's so dumb. Yep. Oh, baby, you should have used some tone indicators in your text and I, I wouldn't have misunderstood. Like, I get it. It's supposed to be anticlimactic. It's supposed to be like, ah, oh, what? Well, like, of course it was the thing that, like, he wants us to go like, <laughs> as if MGK just did that to us. Uh, that just happened. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck. Here we are. No fucking Batman job. My name associated with the shittiest finale in television history. But, like, wasn't he already expecting to be, like, fired or, like, piss off the manager because he didn't show up? Well, yeah, he was. He literally said, I'm choosing love. Yeah, that's what he decided. Like, he, he's definitely so, like, 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 so disconnected that he's like, I'm going to choose love, but I can still be Batman. I know I missed the meeting and I fucked everything up, but I'm still Batman. Not the machine. Not Dude, Megan Fox's feet. No, no. He already showed us a close up of Megan Fox's boobs, her butt, and her looking back, and now her feet. Megan, are you actually okay? That's not okay. And and you know she did this for free. She didn't get paid by him. No. She's like, yeah, babe, I'll help you out. And he was like, okay, I need to see all the things that the internet would love about you. I need your toe thumb now. <laughs> Was that a deep fake of Drake? <laughs> was that a, just like a deep fake of Drake? That's not Drake. That was BBL Drake. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was BBL Drake. Holy moly. Drake really is caked up now. Holy macaroni. I wish all the celebrities in here weren't actually the celebrities and they were just yeah. sort of celebrities that looked like them. That, but like MGK is still being like, no, that's Drake. That's him. He told <laughs> that's, me. He told me it was him. He told me. He tell me Drake's a liar. He doesn't lie. See you later. Avril. It's you. Avril, no. No, no, Avril, no. Avril, no. You shouldn't have done it. You should have. Uh, that's a big regret, I think, in your career. <laughs> That's a confirmed statement that we know it's not Avril. No, yes, exactly. So that's, that proves that the conspiracy is real. The real Avril would never have done that. He's gonna get into a fucking car crash. Oh, for sure, he's texting and driving. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> See guys, that's why you don't text and drive because you're gonna crash into your partner that just broke up with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god her makeup is perfect yeah her hair is done and how they get it how they get a combined suite yeah i have a few issues with this Fuck off. What do you mean? What do you mean? You guys guessed it. Today's video is sponsored by none other than Raycon. If you don't know what Raycons are, Raycons are wireless earbuds and you've probably seen me wear them in tons and tons of videos. The Raycon everyday earbuds look and feel amazing. They're premium sound quality and they start at about half the price of other premium audio brands on the market right now. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, you guys can choose which one fits your ear best because I know with a lot of different earbuds they can fall out or they cannot be comfortable and with Raycon you have 
have a wide variety of sizes to choose which one feels most comfortable to you. Another super great thing about Raycons is that they have an eight hour playtime and a 32 hour battery life. When I'm filming or out and about, I don't want my earbuds dying or running out on playtime because that is the worst experience, especially if I'm filming because I'm doing really long filming sessions. I'm watching an entire TV show. I'm watching a full trilogy. I don't want my earbuds to die. So with Raycons, that makes it a risk that I don't even have to worry about. And some cool things you may have not known about the Raycon Everyday Earbuds is that they are Siri and Alexa compatible. They have wireless charging and they have a three sound profile to customize your listening experience. Get the best audio quality for how you choose to listen. There's pure sound, balance sound, and bass sound. And to navigate between these three sound profiles, all you have to do is hold L for three seconds to toggle between the sound profiles. Raycon sound great, they feel great, so it's no wonder why the everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. They're just a day-to-day -day product that I continue to have on hand. And if you guys want to get 15% off your Raycon purchase today, make sure you guys go to buyraycon.com slash trend. There'll be a link or you guys can go to, like I said, buyraycon.com slash T-R-I-N, trend. And that's it for today's sponsored portion of the video. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring today's video. I cannot believe this movie. Like, okay, let's just like recap, just like quickly summarize, like, and okay. To me, what had happened was miscommunication breakup, lots and lots and lots of filler, got the Batman role, got into a car crash. Got a text, misread the text, got high, I'm Batman, and I almost killed my girlfriend and I. Like, I need to be, I'm on trial for manslaughter. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Although you guys got charged for sure. Sure, I hope you're okay, but, well, not really, but you guys got charged for texting and driving. Yeah, you guys were literally both texting each other and that's why you ran into each other. Also, you don't, and driving under the influence. You smoked weed and did a line of ketamine. There's no way you should be driving. Yeah, they look and they do the toxicology and they go, you're going to jail. You're, go you're going to jail. Also, you're an idiot because you filmed it all. <laughs> you filmed it all. <laughs> this was actually a documentary. This is a, a thing of being like, you want to know how you could be the worst person ever? Here it is. But the fact is that like the title is Good Morning, right? Yeah. One of them should have died. Uh, hun uh, that's what I was hoping for. Cause that's like the whole point. She says good morning in the first yep. scene and then either he dies or she dies. Yep. That's how you tie in a plot. Bingo. That's, well, that's like the, that would have been the right callback. Cause we had multiple callbacks throughout the movie that made no sense and that weren't very funny. But that would have been the one callback would have, and we would have tied it all together. Also, you, did you have you seen what the audience uh, rating on this is? No, did you? I did. It's like in the seventies. I looked it up while, like yesterday. I was like, I'm curious. That's literally MGK and his friends doing the yes. ratings. So. They were all like, but also they were like, we we are gonna give us a modest rating. We thought yeah. it was pretty good, but it's not, thought, a, it's not it, an eighty. It's, it's not an eighty or ninety. It's a silly movie. But guess what the critic score is? Ten. Boom. Boom. Take minus 10 minus 10, ba-boom. Yeah, no way, no way, brother. No way, you're not getting shit. No way home, more like no way, brother. You ain't getting no percentage from us. <laughs> you said, yeah, more like no way, brother. Yeah, amazing, brother. Shouldn't have made this movie, brother. So, uh, surviving so much only makes you want to die more. Exactly, and I really apologize to all the viewers for uh, having to sit through this with us, but you know. I had a blast. I had a blast. Thank you so much. I had a blast. Trin, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, having me on the channel and letting me see one of the best movies I think you've ever reviewed.